So we're going to talk about the area of a circle and the volume of a cylinder. So here's the formula they give us for the area of a circle. Now, you might be thinking, but I know the area of a circle. I remember that formula. It was pi r squared. So this doesn't look like that, right? Well, think about a circle. A radius is the distance from the center to the circle. Uh, the center of the circle to any point on the edge. That's the definition of a circle, right? You have one fixed point, and then you have all these points that are a certain distance away from that point. That's called R. But a lot of times we don't do measurements by radius. We do it by diameter. A diameter is when we go all the way across the circle. You have to go through the radi or the center, but it's all the way across. That's the diameter. Now, in this case, they're going to use an uppercase D for diameter. Um, the, the diameter is equal to 2 times the radii, 2R. Okay, now, if I do that then, if I say, well, let me make the diameter, well, let me make D divided by 2 equal to R. Okay, so like if you divided both sides by 2, that's what you would get. Okay, now if I replace that and I say 3.14 for pi, and then I use d divided by 2, and I square it. Okay, so order of operations, well, we have to go 3.14 times d over 2 times d over 2. Well, what's that going to give us? It's going to give us 3.14 divided by 4 times d squared. So what's 3.14 divided by 4? Oh, it's 7.85. Well, they went more decimal places. <laughs> so that's that's where that's coming from. So it's about 7. Point, or I'm sorry, 0 0.785 times d squared. Okay, I just wanted you to know where the formula came from and that your math teachers didn't lie to you. This is just an alternative formula that we're going to use in hydraulics. Okay, so that's where it comes from. All right, similar, I won't go through the whole thing, but it's the same thing here. Now, volume of a cylinder, think of a stack of like Oreos, right? Like you're stacking them up to make this cylinder. Each Oreo is got um, an area of a circle, right? And you're just stacking those up. So you're taking the area of a circle and then you're multiplying by the height here. Okay, and they're gonna, again, they're gonna use diameter. So they're giving you the diameter, the distance across that cylinder, okay? All right, so let's say the diameter is 10 and the height is, I don't know, 14. Then you would just, in your calculator, you'd go volume, sometimes they use V, equals 0 0.7854 times D squared, which is 10, 10 squared, times 14. So 10 squared is going to be 100, but we can just put this in our calculator. So 0 0.7854 times 100 times 14. Um, and we get... Uh, 1099.56 and that is going to be in I didn't tell you if I was in feet let's make this in feet our measurements here remember they have to be the same units um, and so we're gonna say cubic feet okay volume is a cubic measurement okay now up here I forgot to do that oh we didn't really do an example did we okay but it would have been square feet or whatever we're measuring in. Okay, so that was it for our cylinder and our circle.